is up guys my name is Alex Caves and what you just saw was a snippet of the Ben trip back in late October where Ben and I checked out Ben design conference I will show you the full video at the end of the episode so stay tuned I got a lot of update to uh, go over but if you just want to check out the video you can skip to the end you have full control first I want to apologize for not staying consistent the last couple of weeks with doing these episodes we will try to get back on track and try to update you on everything in this one episode I promise it won't take too long and you'll want to stick around to hear the latest news because it's juicy stuff <laughs> so we have had quite the last couple of weeks first things first you may be wondering why we've been slacking on our weekly videos and uh, that is because Noichi, my editor in crime, was in Europe applying for her Italian citizenship as well as on vacation. And so I've had to do double duty while she was away. So I was spending most of my time for Studio Caves editing instead of filming new content. Uh, and editing takes forever for me because I am a perfectionist. <laughs> On a side note, one thing that gets lost to viewers is the amount of time it takes to edit videos. This is part of the process that brings everything together and yet this is the part that gets undervalued or overlooked. And to do a seamless job, it may not seem like it because it's so smooth and perfect, but it takes a lot of time. And believe it or not, editing is very similar to design in that this is the stuff that happens behind the scenes and to a lot of people, this part gets lost. Editing is just, if not more important than filming itself, because filmmaking is not only about what you show, but what you don't show. It is easy to throw everything into the film, into the video, and over design a product. The hard part is removing the unnecessary and telling the simplest, purest story. That is what distinguishes good filmmakers from bad filmmakers, good designers from bad designers. The little details make all the difference. All right, back to but it's not all my fault. <laughs> the last couple of days, I've been fighting issues of storage. I say fighting because I would get halfway through the edit and then my computer would run out of space. I tried to use my external, but that also ran out of space. And most of my time this week was spent managing files, creating more space to be able to edit and finish this episode. Besides all the filming gear and accessories I've been purchasing, now I need to update my editing system. And the funny thing is I haven't even filmed anything in 4K. And once I do, that's gonna be crazy. Video production is an endless pit, guys. So don't go into it without knowing that the cost. If you are of the 1% and is looking to make a charitable donation to a big nonprofit overseas, please consider supporting me instead by donating on my Patreon page. I would really appreciate it. It'll be a charitable act. Anyway, let's backtrack all the way to late October where we went to Ben Design. Whew, man, Ben Design was incredible. The speakers from the first day was awesome. Uh, the workshops we attended was okay. Uh, not the most design oriented thing, but um, there's a lot of insights that we took away from it. But the best part were the people that we got to interact with. All in all, Ben Design was a major success. Hearing people's stories, creating connections, and the feedback I got from professional designers about what I'm doing with Studio Caves, this YouTube thing, that was priceless. The night it wrapped up, Ben and I stayed out to chat just to reflect on what happened, and I got a little emotional. Um, and actually, not a little, a lot emotional. That whole weekend was a moment of validation for me, a validation that all my hard work, all my frustrations, all my insights that I've collected over the years and the direction that I'm taking Studio Caves right now is the right path to take, the path to total victory and world domination. <laughs> After that weekend, I'm confident in saying that Studio Caves has the potential of becoming one of the most influential design-focused players in this game. So 10, 20, 30 years from now, we'll be reflecting back to this moment right here on this episode as the moment it all started. And the 17 of you who have subscribed to me so far, I thank you for your early support. I greatly appreciate it. You rock. Thank you so much for believing in me. And for those of you seeing me for the first time, subscribe right now so that you can be a part of this incredible journey that we are about to embark on. Speaking of journeys, <laughs> Here's my recent curveball. Lately, I haven't been the happiest working at my day job, and I was actually playing with the idea of quitting in January, taking out a big loan to pursue Studio Caves full-time for six months or so, and the funniest thing was, on Sunday, I was joking with Ben that uh, I should try to get fired so I could collect unemployment instead of a loan, that way I don't have to pay it back and do Studio Caves full-time that way. Little did I know there were elements in play that would fulfill that exact wish. <laughs> 
And so my timeline has been accelerated for two months, <laughs> meaning I got laid off. <laughs> I was mostly joking when I said it, but the very next day, as fate would have it, that exact thing happened. I got laid off. If you are of the 1% and is looking to make a charitable donation to a big nonprofit overseas, please consider supporting me instead by donating on my Patreon page. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. It'll be a charitable act. Law of attraction is real, guys. If you think it, it will happen. So just be ready when it does. To be clear, I didn't get laid off because of incompetence or anything to do with my performance. The CEO made an executive decision to pivot his company a certain direction where they didn't need my services any longer. And um, I wasn't the only one that got let go. So totally understandable. It just kind of caught me off guard. And uh, I'm at the point where I'm trying to figure things out. And I have a couple options. Uh, one is to to collect unemployment, which I've never done before. And the pay is minimal at best, only to pay the bills really, not enough to kind of fund uh, Studio Caves. And there's actually a lot of filing involved, but I will have more time to work on it. So that's the advantage there. Two is to find a new job, a better job, and continue building my gear, my experience, and slowly and surely improving the quality and quantity of Studio Caves until this starts generating income to which then I can run full time uh, doing studio caves without having any money issues. I'm leaning towards more the the second option just because I won't be struggling for cash and I'll be able to buy equipment that I need to do what I want to do and I still have a couple more things I need to get and um, all the benefits that come from being employed. If you like to give me your two cents, uh, feedback is always appreciated. Leave a comment below. Uh, what do you think I should do? Well, that's it for me guys. Crazy times, I know, uh, but it happens. Uh, we are constantly self-reflecting, improving what we do, and sharing our story along the way. And without further ado, the rest of the Ben Trip video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.